Similar to April, May was another positive month for the fund as lockdown restrictions continued to ease and investors sensed some economic recovery. For this month, I want to speak about two key points. Firstly, I want to look at the role of cities in the COVID-19 world. And then also I want to look at the future for offices, a much debated topic. But before that, I thought it might be quite interesting for people to know where I was due to be this week. I was due to be on the east coast of America, meeting a number of the companies that we invest in. And today I was actually due to be inspecting industrial assets around New York. So I thought it was quite ironic to actually read about the very company I was due to be meeting in this week's Economist in an article entitled The Warehouse King. So a thoroughly good read. So firstly, what is the future for a city in a COVID-19 world? Clearly cities are the epicentre of where the disease is spread. So what does this mean for urbanisation? Well, as I watched over the weekend the launch of the SpaceX rocket up to the ISS, and I saw that clustering of expertise all in one location, that for me is what epitomises why cities will survive this crisis, why they're so important. It is this agglomeration of expertise, of innovation and collaboration that occurs in a city. We simply believe there is no alternative to a city. We do not see an increase in demand for rural areas. We do not think that there are the networking or collaboration opportunities occur in those locations. And so for us, cities will continue to be what drives the knowledge economy. We absolutely realise that if there is no vaccine to COVID-19, those interactions between people will reduce. But when you have an interaction, it will need to be in the epicentre of where that expertise is that you need to tap into. And that's where a city with their particular specialism will come to the fore. So we continue to believe that cities will be as important in a COVID-19 world as they were before. And secondly, what does COVID-19 mean for the future of the office? As we all work from home, what does that mean for this very important asset class? Well, a little bit like retail, we do not believe that all shops are dead. And just like for office, we don't believe all offices are dead. But we do think there is a dramatic change that is going to alter valuations and the returns investors are going to get from offices over the long term. And it's absolutely crucial that people understand this. It's also important to point out that these trends are not new. Working from home, the advent of flexible office space companies like WeWork, Notel Industries, they were all in the market before, slowly eroding the pricing power for office landlords. COVID-19 is simply accelerating that change. The change may have occurred over five to 10 years, now it may well occur over one to two years. We think it will be that dramatic. A report I read last week said that in the US of all the office workers, only around 13% of people had tried and did work from home. And they believe over the next five to 10 years, that figure is gonna increase from 13 to 40%. This has to reduce the long-term demand for offices, which therefore has to reduce their valuation long-term for all but the best connected offices in the center of where information and knowledge is transferred. We think that life for a suburban office landlord is gonna to be tough. We think that the pricing power that they have has gone. A tenant may well say, I want to pay this rent, and if you don't accept my terms, well, maybe my employees work from home. Whereas in the center of a city, where there is more need for uh, people to meet up in a central hub, we believe that those landlords will be in a stronger position. We still don't believe it will be a very, very strong position, but it will be stronger than the suburban office landlord. So we are certainly suspicious and cynical and questioning about returns that can be derived from the office subsector. Having said that, there will still be interesting opportunities, but we need to look at these in a lot of detail before we finalise them. In conclusion, COVID-19 is simply a catalyst for disruption, disruption in offices, disruption in retail. All of these trends were in the market before the virus. They are simply occurring at a far faster pace. And we would argue that retail and offices are almost like an analog product in a digital world. And we believe that the Global Cities Fund, with the subsector allocations that we have to data centres and industrial, is really catering for the digital world. Thank you.